Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to find and replace text in Notepad or WordPad. Before we get started, the differences between Notepad and WordPad are they are exactly the same except for the location of where you get to it. Let me show you real quick and we'll just dump WordPad and you can follow along with Notepad. In WordPad you want to be here so once you have text in there you can click find and you can click replace. That's where it is in WordPad. Notepad you got to find it a little bit not a big deal. There's a couple ways you can do it. Let's start with finding text. So I've got this up here with actually this document in here for text for fun. We can do the control F keys and it'll pop up find or you can always get to what you need right here under edit. So you've got edit, find, replace and you can see the shortcuts control H, control F. So let's say you want to find, I want to find the word menu and you want to watch for your options here. You have match case and you have wraparound and you have up and you have down. So I'll give you an example. If I want to search for something I usually if I do the whole document, start at the top left corner. That allow it to start from the top all the way to the bottom. But if I happen to have my mouse cursor here, because I only want to check the lower part of the document, that changes everything. Let me show you. So we want to edit find. So now if I type in the word menu, it's only going to start wherever I have my mouse cursor. And it's going to go to the end and stop. But if I want to do the whole document, I will pick wrap around. What that will do is start here go all the way to the bottom, come back to the top and stop wherever your mouse cursor is. Let me show you. So to find, we're going to go down. You can go up. Find next. There's menu. Find next. And I'm going to keep clicking. As you're going to see, we end up going through the whole document until you get everything you want. So pretty easy to do. So that is how you find text. And don't forget, of course, you can match case. So if I wanted to find the letter CTRL, but I don't want that function key, I could actually type lowercase and tell it to match the case. And there you go. It didn't even see the uppercase because we match case. Cool. All right, let's jump into replacing text now. And you can find this document as well, this tutorial here in the background in the video description popping up right around now. All right, let's replace it. Once I showed you how to find it, the differences are very, very minor. So we can do Control H as you saw, or we can do Edit Replace. And once again, as a habit, I'm usually doing the whole document, so I'll click right here. And I don't use wrap around. I just now I know I start, started at the top left. It'll go all the way through it. So let's do it. Edit Replace. A couple ways you can do here. You can match case. You can wrap around as you saw earlier. And as you notice, we have extra buttons over here. So let's say I want to replace CTRL with CTRL I. What it'll do is it'll look for it, or you can replace everything. Now you have to be careful. I was playing earlier. See what happened? I used the word high just for fun. So it took all the words high and changed highlighted to control. I heard searching to search controlling. So you have to be a little careful in there. Sometimes you want to make sure that you're using the match case where needed or feel free to use the find next so you don't accidentally change anything. So as you can see, I'm going to swap those back. I'm going to do edit replace and then I'm going to change back my CTRL here back to HI. But as you can see, we didn't get all of them. So the best way to do this is to click find next. Now I know that's okay, so I'm going to leave it. Click Find Next. You don't see it. Look around. Move this around so it's out of your way. There it is right there. I know that's my mistake, so I'll replace. I screwed that one up. I'll click Replace. And I don't want to touch that one because it's fine. So I'll just hit Find Next. I screwed up that one. Hit Replace. And once you get the hang of it, it's pretty fast. And as you can see, once you're done and it goes from the top of the document to the bottom and you've checked it, you can cl click OK and you're done. So everything I need to do here is completed now. So again, just keep in mind your few options and you'll be just fine. You want to know if you want to match the case, you want to wrap around. And again, kind of neat because you could actually say, well, I know everything I want to search for somewhere below here. So I could just do edit, replace, edit, search and without using wrap around as we showed you, it'll only go right from there to here. 
and that's it piece of cake so there you go I showed you how to open the uh, wordpad and get that wrong that's how you get the job done that is how you search find replace text in notepad or wordpad bottom right corner major geeks logo you can click subscribe be different click subscribe I know everybody tells you to do it I got to come up with something new uh, hey guys thanks for watching as always see ya